guys. Welcome to my family fun. Today we're going to try a craft. Yes. Um, so Sophia's teacher shared it and we are going to try to make a, a dinosaur or a shark bookmark. bookmark. So when you make it, whatever book you're reading, mm -hmm. you can just choose whatever spot like you're in. Thelma. Yeah, slide it on the corner and it marks your page. So we're going to try to make that. We're going to go through the steps. Yes. And I'll also put a link down in the description so you guys can see a different step-by-step -step video as well where we got it from if you want to give it a try. So first you're going to need paper, some scissors, a coloring marker, pencil, and some glue. Or tape if you don't have glue. Tape could work. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your paper to make it into a square. Mom is going to fold mine because... Um, I said a mom would fold mine. Yeah, it can be a little bit difficult. So you fold your paper. Into a big triangle. Yeah, so the triangle, so when it folds open, it'll make a square because we're going to cut off this rectangle part right yes, here. Yes, and I'm going to do the cutting. You're going to do the cutting? Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so now we're going to cut off our rectangles, but don't throw out your rectangle because we're going to need it later on. Yes, so don't throw out your rectangle. That's right. Can you really get the rest of it? Eh. Would you like some help? Yeah. You got a good start there. You got to make sure you cut right along the line here because you mm -hmm. want it to be as even as possible. There. So then we'll set our rectangle. Nope, that's okay. Just keep your rectangle to the side. We'll save it for later. Keep it to your side, the rectangle to your side. That's right. It's mine. Okay, so now we're going to take, we've got um, a triangle. Nope, we're going to keep it open. Keep it as a triangle. Yeah, if you open it, it's a square. But we're going to keep it as a triangle. Yes. And you're going to fold up these two sides up to the top. Like this. Okay. One. And then I put like what? Yeah, just two. So it now looks like this. Would you like some help? Yeah. Okay, get a little bit closer. You were super close. It's awesome job, Sophia. Okay. Now you can open it. Looks like this. Like this. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to take one mm -hmm. side of it. I can't you're... do that. It's okay. Watch mommy and then I'll help you. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to take that and we're going to fold it down and then you're going to flatten um, this piece again. Can you do that? Yeah, I can you know, do okay. the rest of the folding for me. So fold this, help me, pull this part down. You're going to put it right so that it touches right here, the tip. Yeah. And then we're going to flatten this part. Can you flatten it? Perfect. Okay. So now it should look like this. Okay. And you're going to take these little kind of wing parts that are hanging out. And, then and it's going to tuck inside this little, and make like a little pocket. Like this. And like this. It's going to tuck inside. Inside. Can you do that anymore? Like that. And then what? What? Crazy. Okay. Tucks right inside here. Fold it in. And oh, like flat, flat? Yep, yeah, and then flatten it. Good job, so. Show it everyone yours. It should look Ooh. like this. Yeah, so so far it's going to look like that. So now that, turn it this way, and then that's the main body of the shark dinosaur or whatever. Yeah, shark dinosaur. Whatever you want to call it. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to call it shark. Okay, so now you're going to take your extra rectangle piece. Yeah, going to cut off a square. A square of it. Yeah, and then you're going to take that square and you're going to cut it on an angle to make two triangles. Okay, that's square. Good square, so. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to cut it in half to make two triangles, okay? Right on a diagonal. Right across. And these are going to end up being the little fins for your shark. So what you're going to want to do is take your glue or whatever tape, whatever you have, and you're going to put it on the sides of the oh, shark okay. like this. Good job. Those are good triangles. Okay. So now, like yeah, here, you can flip it over if you want. And then you can put some glue. Mm, I want that glue. Yeah, you can have that glue. Watch Mommy do hers, okay? So then you can see. Can you do that? Yep, so then. 
Put on the side. So then, there's my one pin. Yeah. Do you, you want to use the white glue? Yeah. There you go. You want every side? Mm-hmm. Ah, that's on the table. That's okay. We can always clean it up if it gets on the table, right? Yep. So this might be a good idea if we got kids watching to have your mommies or daddies or older siblings or yep. grandparents or someone help you because some parts might get a little bit tricky. Um, on the, like, corners? Like this. On the flat back. So, yeah, that's right. Turn it. You want yours right there? Yeah. Perfect. The thing with the white glue is you're going to have to let it dry a little bit longer than you would with just a glue stick or tape. But that's okay. So now you can do your other fin. I don't want to do that one. Sophia, it's okay. You can use this glue if you'd like for the rest. Mm -mm. It's okay. we got to keep going so we can show them, right? So if the one with the glue stick is already dry, then you, and the white glue is not dry, but not where you want to put your other fin, right, here. right there. Okay, there's Sophia's two fins, and here's my two fins. So now what we have to do is we have to make the teeth. Okay, Mama, I want you to do the teeth because I can do. That. You want some help? That's okay. If you need no. help, that's fine. So you're gonna take Mom, this, gonna be and you're gonna do teeth. zigzags. Like this. If you want to use a marker or a crayon or something to draw your zigzags before you cut. Yeah, sure. Just one second, Sophia. So I drew my zigzags, and now I'm gonna cut, and that's gonna be the teeth. Um, look at the rectangle. Yeah, on the rectangle. That's your rectangle. I wanna put the rest of that off. Well, you can just draw your zigzags on this part if you wanted. I'm gonna cut the tire off. Uh, okay, that's fine. That works too. Cause okay, then it looks like that. I'm gonna draw my zigzags up or down. However you want to draw your zigzags, however you want your teeth. So this is how my teeth turned out. So then you're gonna put a little bit of glue along your teeth, and they're gonna go in for the shark's mouth. So they'll end up going under it just like this. I'm gonna do lots of teeth. Oh, your shark's gonna have lots of teeth. Ooh, I don't want to be bit by your shark. I think that would hurt. Can you cut out the zigzags? Whoa! Show them how many zigzags you just made. Look at all those teeth our shark's going to have. Mine has one, two, three, four big teeth. Okay. So now I'm going to try to cut out Sophia's teeth. We'll see how this works. This is going to be tough. A lot of teeth. Lots of little teeth, huh? Yeah, they're shiny. Super sharp. Yeah. It's gonna be a challenge for mommy. It is, but you know what? This is the fun of doing arts and craft. Because even if the template that you know someone shows you looks a certain way, yours doesn't have to look the exact same. Yeah. However, you make it. Yeah. You just gotta have some fun, right? Yeah. I'm going to do it all the way, little teeth, because <laughs> I can't do that. Okay, I think this is going to be my teeth. No. Yeah, well, it only can go so wide, see? Look. Perfect. So, now we got to put glue Wait, on it. Can we count this? How many teeth? Okay, yeah, let's count. How many One, teeth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten teeth. That's a lot. Okay, so now you got to put a little bit of glue yeah, on here. that one so it doesn't take long. And then it goes underneath. Well, mine is dancing. Mine's dancing. My oh, dancing. Sophia's dancing. It does look like it's dancing. That's fun. Dancing. So now here's the next part. So we got to draw the yeah, mouth and the eyes. eyes. Now, if you have googly eyes... Yes. You can or, use those. Or pom-poms. You can really decorate yeah, it however we, you like. We have, we um do have googly eyes, but we're just going to make it um however. Yeah, so now you can do this part. So I drew, a, do the eyes. I drew a triangle on the mouth there, and then I can color it in. Or if you have other colored paper that you want to use, so because you, you don't want to use markers, you could do that. You could just cut a triangle out of a different kind of paper and glue it on. That's fine, but we're just using 
Markers with pencils. And then I'm drawing circles for the eyes. Mom, are you doing the same as the other one? I am. I'm doing it the exact same. We're going to have twins. Mama, I want to make another one after. Yeah, we can make more. Ooh, I like your eyes. Are you going to do the mouth or are you going to use this for the mouth? Yeah. Ooh, Sophia wants to use a marker for the mouth. So now, here's my shark. Now I have two. Look, they're twinsies. They're twinsies. Ooh, good job, so. Sophia's just coloring uh, in her mama, mouth. Mama, do that. Do it on the... Ooh, ow. <laughs> her shark's teeth are pretty sharp. <laughs> it really hurts. Yeah. You look like that. Yeah, even that one's really sharp. Yeah. Okay, keep coloring it in so we can show them what yours looks like. And guys, if you make really, really sharp ones, you just touch it for one time, and then if it hurts, then just don't touch it. Don't do it again, yeah. Yeah, it's super sharp. Okay, are you almost done there? Um, I'm going to um, color my teeth purple. You're going to color your teeth purple? Okay, well, I think maybe we'll do that after the video, okay? Yeah. You just finish your mouth, and then we'll show them how it sits on your Thelma book. Yeah. Or on another book. Whatever book you have. Yes. If you have a Thelma book, you can do it on the same book for practice. If you want to do it with them, but if you don't want to, that's fine though. Mm -hmm. But if you have it and you don't want to, that's fine though. And you can use whatever paper. The paper we used is like a cardstock, so it's a little bit mm -hmm. thicker. But if yeah. you have like origami paper, that would be really good. You can make them big or small, however you want. Yeah, mine's a small shape. Dancing. A small shark dancing, that's fun. What are you going to name your shark? Um, Clowny. Clowny. Okay, you ready? Show them. Ta-da! Look at Clowny! Look at it! Yay! It's Clowny! He does look like he's dancing. Deep, 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 Wait, that was the white glue and it's halfway dry. Yeah. And cool. It just sits right on there. Yeah. Looks like it's eating your book. Yeah, but no. Fun. Well, I hope you guys are able to make the shark, and I hope yeah. you have fun. Shark or is whatever you want to. Yeah, you can use whatever kind of colors, whatever yes. you want to do. Yeah. Okay, I hope you have fun. But if you really want to do it like this, mine kind of looks like a lazy, but it is a shark. <laughs> That's right. Okay, thanks for watching Let's our see. video. Ma, Ma family, family out. out.